Hey guys, Alex from Online Terror with a new pick a card. Today we are going to know more about you, learn something new about you. Hopefully you will learn something about yourself as well. So today's pick a card is about your strengths you are not aware of. So I'm really, really hoping this reading is going to inspire you to value yourself more, to discover yourself more and to maybe implement this strength in your life so let's see we have four piles today and as always these four piles do not cover all possible options these are just four groups of people i'm connecting with today so if it's not your message check out my other picky cards i have a lot of them or oh, check out other amazing readers on youtube there are a lot of them and i'm sure one of them is making a video just for you today so for those of you who are going to feel like it's your reading well hit the like button subscribe stay tuned for no stay tuned for more and let me know what you think about this reading in the comment section down below so for pile number one we have this aura quartz yeah. okay here it is you can see it for pile number two we have fluorite for pile number three we have labradorite has very beautiful ironization and for pile number four we have pink quartz okay so take your time you can pause the video meditate use a pendulum choose whatever technique you like mm -hmm. uh, to feel which pile is calling for you and I will see you in timestamps hey those who chose pile number one let's see Ooh, guys mm. I like you already. So first of all, what we have, we have Page of Cups, the Chariot, Wheel of Fortune, the Fool, and Queen of Pentacles. So it seems like you are very strong characters. You are definitely stronger than you know, than you think you are, and you have a much bigger potential. You are pawn number one. You are like, you are visionaries. You can create your own reality. You can imagine it and then make it happen oh i'm getting goosebumps with this page of cups it's like you not only can do it for yourself you can inspire others as well you see it's like sending messages mm, messages of it's like you're inspiring other people to dream to dream to believe that they are worthy of love of success of something you are spreading this joy and with this chariot yeah it's chariot will of fortune and the full like three major arcanas in a row and uh, mm, it's like you know how to turn your life around you are open you are flexible you can start your life and you and you definitely you definitely know your worth or learning about that uh, and you see this pa your past as your experiences your valuable experiences your values um, valuables as your valuables and you see how much more precious moments you can have precious lessons you can learn precious people you can meet connections you can have it's like you value yourself you value life too and it seems like you have no you either have no idea or you don't know to what extent you are affecting other people's lives and to what extent you are capable of changing your own lives um if you've been watching me for a while you know that mm, not too many people are capable of change unfortunately some people are capable of understanding that change is needed but Few people are capable of really changing themselves, transforming them themselves. You're one of them. You're a visionary. You can imagine what you want to be and you can become this person. It's very, very strong and it's super okay. Let's see more. Yep. Nine of Pentacles person. You are always open. It's like you will be always learning from the universe. You're like... Um, you are definitely very open with this fool and with the page of pentacles you are like a, a forever student because you know want to know more about life you want to do this you want to do that you want to explore the universe and you always see where to go you always see more 
more i don't know more land to explore more things to do and sometimes it's difficult for you to choose from because you have a lot of interests and um you are definitely with these pages i love this energy page page and the full also um three pages by the way it's like it's not about being childish but it's about being like a child open to the universe because you know some people they are born old like nothing is making them happy they are not satisfied they're not fulfilled like they're not happy about anything it's not about you you are determined you have a goal you have a vision you're going there but at the same time you are enjoying the process you like the blue sky i don't know you you smile at the frog jumping um you pet a you you will stop to pet a cat uh you are enjoying your walks with your dog or spending time with your friends you're enjoying these small things these little things that are creating a lot of happiness you're open to them yeah and this is this is actually a strength this is a strength because it kind of gives you an opportunity to enjoy life and if you're not enjoying your life no no meaning can uh, i don't know um i forgot the word if you have a meaning i don't know a very high spiritual meaning to your life but you're not enjoying it it kind of won't balance these things even if you have a very spiritual very material goals we all have different goals there is nothing wrong with that you need to enjoy the process and so many people don't but you can you know how to do it and it's your strength it's one of your biggest strengths even if you don't realize it okay six of four ones the lovers <laughs> okay i'm i'm getting a very nice picture here Oh, 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 the star. Yeah, definitely. You are the dreamer. You are the dreamer, but you are not one of those dreamers who are j just, you know, thinking and overthinking and not doing shit, but you are the dreamers who actually make their dreams come true and help others do this too. And while I was laughing at this card, I do feel like with these lovers, um, th this deck is a bit different. Has uh, I'm using all, not usual, not standard decks today for this reading mm. what i want to say it's like you like to not sneak away with the happiness it's like you're trying to steal happy moments uh all the time if you have a person that you love you try to come hug them or steal a kiss from them and like this and you are treasuring these small moments you are treasuring them you're remembering them and they are bringing a lot of joy into your life uh you are also lucky it can be in different ways mm, either life is giving you bringing right people into your life at the right moments or you are lucky with finances by the way as well we have this success card you are lucky it's like mm, you can sense the trends some kind of trends before they become trends you can sense them you can have this vision by the way yeah at least some of you are visionary in business as well so trust your intuition trust your gut not other people what they're saying but you yourself you can um, your creativity and your childlike open flexible mind can really lead you to success and can really make your dreams come true I love it. Okay, let's see a little bit more for you guys. The Wheel of Fortune, another Wheel of Fortune. It's like you are this Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands. And another Lovers. And another, another Nine of Wands. One more. Another Nine of Pentacles. I love these synchronicities. And before I finish the reading for you, pal number one, a couple of cards. Yep. Yeah. You have a very strong connection to your no place like home you have a very strong connection um, with your stars definitely with your stars with the you feel your path you feel your path and um 
your intuition is very strong you kind of really really need to listen to this to 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 your intuition because it's leading you somewhere you're supposed to go so trust it trust it go with this fork in the road it's like you know you feel it in your gut you really have this gut feeling what you need to be doing trust it don't listen to anybody trust your gut and with this wheel of fortune you are guys you are lucky we have two wheels of fortune and this card of good luck good fortune you are lucky start noticing this luck because sometimes we are lucky but we don't see it because it's normal for us we think it's ever it's it's like this for everybody but no you have some streak of luck i don't know some of you are definitely meeting right people in the right place others are it it can be small situations but it's luck other people will uh, find problems there you find right people who are helping you out i don't know you missed the last bus and there is somebody is giving you a ride or something like this uh, there can be a lot of situations like this but you are definitely you have some extra luck in your life and with this four of wands uh, uh four of wands and a place like home um you can also either have um very nice supportive family or extended family friends somebody who is there for you you are not alone for sure there are people around you friends or family who are supportive of you and you may not be noticing that as well try to notice it because there are some things that you are not noticing here but you guys you have so much power mm. some of you haven't even started realizing it but first step is to realize it then you will be able to kind of use it to your benefit and with this lover is two times here and nine of wands and nine of coins again um I feel like, yeah, especially lovers coming up together with success, you have these choices, choices. You feel what choice to make. Really listen to your intuition, please. I know I'm repeating myself, but um, it's like sometimes it's really important for you to talk to yourself. I am getting this is about talking to yourself, listening to yourself, because your inner sense of your path is very strong. But I do feel like either... Mm, exterior situations people somebody is kind of making you doubt yourself so really really li listen to yourself because you know the right thing and uh, you are you are the those people uh who can achieve a lot you can really achieve a lot you can reach for the stars and you can make your dreams come true so don't stop don't stop really really keep going keep on going because like the pinnacle the, the sky is the limit for some of you there is no limit at all and uh one more card with this to be fair i do see this owl as as an intuition like this it's sitting on your head and it's it's helping you to to do the right choices so you don't need a tarot reader <laughs> You don't need anybody else telling you what to do. You really need to learn one thing. Talking to yourself. Listening to yourself. Feeling yourself. Not disregarding yourself. And you will succeed. You will, guys. Because you are awesome. And never doubt that, please. Okay? So, um, thanks for watching. I hope this message finds whoever needs to hear it. And have a great day. And I'm moving to pile number two now. Hey guys, those who chose pile number two with this beautiful floor, right? <laughs> Let's see, what are your strengths that you are not aware of? Hmm, your strength is strength, <laughs> literally. Come on. This is interesting. You are, mm, you are creative people. You are, mm, you are people who has a very rich inner life. Okay, we have this page of pentacles, the hermit, strength four of pentacles and ten of cups you are most probably introverts or just mostly introverted introverts are not the, those who are sitting at home not talking to anybody now like I, i'm an introvert as well and uh we love to talk but uh, to not so many people like we easily lose energy in communication so extroverted people they gain energy during communication we give it right so we can't communicate so much with a lot of people um and it seems like you may be an introverted or just somebody who has a very rich inner life like you have your own world inside of you mm, with this page of pentacles 
you're not always sure how to show it how to express it if you should express it there is uh, this um, you may be hiding it you may be feel feeling like you are not like the others like you are the white crow or um, I don't know you are different uh, but believe it or not there are people like you not exactly like you you are unique of course but like everybody is unique but I mean, while you are hiding your true self inside of you, it, it will be difficult for you to find people like you, you know? Um, so, it's like you're hiding something. You're hiding something, and this same thing is very valuable. It's very valuable. It's like you're sitting inside with yourself, maybe sitting at home with yourself, and it's like you are creating the whole world. You may be very, you may be very, very creative. Maybe you are artists or writers or something like this, because what you are hiding, or maybe you ha you are potential writers or artists or songwriter, I don't know, singers, somebody, because you have so much inside of you, and you are. I feel like you are still hiding it, or maybe you have been hiding it. Maybe you're over it already. But guys, your inner world is valuable so kind of find a way how to how to transmit it because this is beautiful let's see more let's see more for yeah you're not sure you are hiding it guys definitely hiding protecting it like okay you are carefully choosing choosing the words that you are saying how you're expressing yourself because you do feel different. You do feel different. Okay, you may be different from most people around you. And that's okay. You know what? That's okay. It's like, um, imagine an orchestra. And there are different groups of musical instruments. There, there is uh, the leading instrument. And there is there are supporting instruments. And they all are different, you know. And each of them is playing their own role. And okay, you are different from, from the most people that you know. But you have your own role. You have your own place in this in this society, in in the universe, and so on. And again, you have some kind of talent that you're hiding, and you're hiding it because you feel like you will not be understood because you're too different. Well, you can't make a difference and not be different. It's impossible. You you are different, and this is your strength that can help you make a difference in this world. You have some talent. Maybe it's some, I don't know, human, humanitarian work that you want to be doing. Some project. It may be a talent. It may be a project that you have in mind. An idea. You're hiding it because you feel like it won't be understood. It, it's, it, But it's valuable. It's important for you to find a way to, to, to show it to, to the world. To share it with the world. I'm not saying like right away and with everybody. Okay, somebody will not see you. Uh, somebody will not accept you. Somebody won't. But somebody will. And you won't know unless you try it. Ooh, definitely creative, creative. This is the Ace of Wands, but it's about work. There is some creativity here. And again, then you are stopping yourself. And we have King of Swords and King of Swords. Come on. And this King of Swords has like conscious uh, energy here. And this page of um, uh, Knight of Pentacles has this taxes energy like negative energy here and another ten of cups it's kind of uh, yeah you are definitely holding on to your inner joy or something but what i want to say is uh, the message you see the message is repeating itself there is the fire burning inside of you and sooner or later it's gonna get out uh I know it from my own experience, it's much easier if you do it willingly, if you find a way that is um, comfortable for you to express this creativity in whatever shape or form you have it, because you have it and you're hiding it, hiding, 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 you see, like, okay, now it's mine, it's mine, I will not show it, you will not see it, you will not see the value of it, somebody will somebody will maybe not those people you want to to see it maybe not your family and friends right away but somebody will let's see more you're oh, another seven of seven of wands and seven of wands come on guys stop fighting the universe 
Stop fighting the whole world. The world, not yeah. See your your protectiveness. It's like you fighting the whole world is splitting you apart. It's like you believe that people will not see your worth. And but but though you have a lot of it with this King of Pentacles, you have a lot to offer. You definitely have a lot to offer. Offer whatever it is. You th you see that people. You think that people will not see it. But uh, and it ha makes you split yourself like while talking with this person, you are mm, splitting yourself in parts, like in showing this side of yourself, only one side, one small side of yourself to this person, another small side to that person. And you are never whole. It makes you become split. Oh, yeah. So a couple of more cards for you from my favorite Oracle deck. So. <sighs> with this to the sea you are on a spiritual journey you it's it's the part of your spiritual mission to learn how to express this rich inner world that you have it's your strength it's not your weakness it's your strength it's it's the main strength that you have and you need to start seeing it as, as, as this it's gonna really help you along the way uh, with this ying i do feel like you are full we, we have ten of cups and ten of cups and here this is like an ace of cups card and it's like you have so much love inside of you it, it's love it's joy it's creativity you need to start sharing because it's like eating you from the inside it, it's too much for you alone find a constructive way how to do it and to be able to find it you really need to with this chop wood it's like first of all you need to open these doors you need to open these doors and you need to uh, how to say it's like clean up this mess inside of you because while you are splitting many 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 halves there is a mess when you try to accept these parts of yourself incorporate them and become whole it will be easier for you to open the doors and to see what is going on inside of your heart, inside of your head. Who are you? What you want in this life? And so on and so forth. It's about cleaning up the mess by not throwing away parts of yourself, but incorporating them. You know, I hope I hope I'm making sense. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Well, guys, um, I really hope this message is going to find whoever needs to hear it. Thanks again for being here with me. Hope to see you soon with my other videos. And I'm moving to pile number three now. Hey, those who chose pile number three with this beautiful labradorite. Let's see. What are your strengths? Ooh. Oh, I love my viewers. I love my subscribers. You are so awesome, guys. You don't know. You don't even know how awesome you are. We have... Ace of Pentacles, the world, sun, queen of wands, and uh, the knight of swords. You are unstoppable. Pile number three, you are unstoppable. You are, uh, how to say, you are somebody who has spent a long time uh, learning about yourself. We had this for pile number one. Pile number two is afraid to, to show their inner world to other people. But you are on, on the contrary. You've Maybe you've been there before. And you definitely learned about yourself. You've studied yourself. You've, um, you, you took off this skin of other people's beliefs about you. Other people's expectations. Other people's ideas. Society labels and blah blah blah. You took it off. You, you took it off. You just... I know who I am inside. You are in terms with yourself. You are in, in, um, in balance with yourself. You're accepting yourself. And uh, you're creative. You are creative, your inner child is playing, you are in, in contact, and you are, mm -hmm, how to say, you have some projects, some ideas in mind, and you like to um, nourish other people, and you like to make them grow, these projects. You are patient enough, you, mm -hmm, you can wait for this um, abundance to come in, you can kind of put in seeds in the soil, and waiting for this forest to grow, and 
you are unstoppable because if you have a project you are patient you can wait you can make it come true but like you will go through every obstacle on the way nothing and nobody is gonna stop you so there is only one thing that can stop you you may be pile you may be life path number one uh, by the way or you can be life path number nine or eight also but yeah i think so nine or eight or one guys there is only one thing that can stop you you not believing in yourself because you are seriously unstoppable not everybody is like this you have the power you have the determination you have the creativity you have the vision and uh yeah this this contact with your inner child that you have is really helping you not to be just very strict with yourself or kind of put goals after goals after goals in front of you but enjoying the process and your creativity not only gives you t t the ability to see the whole picture not everybody sees the whole picture like definitely not that's why i'm saying you may be oh by the way you can be life path number four as well four eight nine one, one. yeah okay <laughs> several life paths possible but um, i'm not seeing a lot of inner doubts here but just want to stress it so most probably it's four eight or nine you um you can be it can be difficult for you to choose it can be difficult for you to choose because you have so much creativity inside of you and uh, yeah I'm getting vibes of four and eight. Most of all, four and eight. Because mm, four and eight, you see the structure and the big picture. And uh, how to say, your vision is wider and bigger than than of the rest of the people, you know. Uh, you, have, you definitely have a lot to give. You are a giver. You are a builder. It, it can be difficult how to say you have a lot of interests and it's difficult for you to choose it's like i want to do this i want to do that i want to i want to be everywhere and uh, you want to spread love around around uh, all over the world but um you have to start choosing your priorities and choosing the projects you want to prioritize because you can't go into in 10 different directions you can but you will not reach any any of them so uh choose choose your goals choose your projects because when you choose when you have your mindset you're unstoppable simply unstoppable yeah the empress another seven of cups but it's about the truth and the will of fortune who another king of cups seven of so so mm, there is one thing that can be stopping you from reaching the ultimate success i don't know because you are strong capable talented loving for sure uh honest uh, i like you may be a bit blunt maybe a bit too blunt so be careful about that like being being honest is good but hurting other people's feelings uh is not so but um it can happen with you i mean hurting other people's feelings because you are very we have two times king of cups here you are very loving and you can be hiding it behind this mask of you being uh, very strong and and direct and um persistent you can be hiding it there because you feel like your feelings your love towards somebody or your love to the universe because you're very loving you have so much love to give it's like you care for everybody uh it can be your um like imprisonment it can be your limitation it can limit you from seeing uh the truth from seeing the big picture from exploring your potential to the fullest you know so uh let's see more let's see more pile number three what other strengths so and this is what we're talking are your strengths if you feel like they're not you're wrong you are simply wrong okay there's one more thing coming to okay good 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 and one more second three more cards from my oracle deck my favorite oracle deck
soulmates. Yeah. Okay. So these two kings of cups coming up together with six of cups and the soulmate you are seeking for love but you are seeking for true love you want to find your true soulmate um counterpart whatever you call it right you are seeking for true love mm, you want it and you're afraid of it and it seems like it's one of your main tasks in this life is to learn how to um how to love in a constructive way, you know, how to not lose yourself in this love because you are afraid of it because you're afraid to lose yourself. Maybe it happened with you already and you lost yourself, you lost your boundaries, you've uh, um, kind of submerged, I don't know, dissolved in this connection and you want it to, you don't want it to be repeated. So, um, it's really, really important for you. So your love, your ability to love is not your weakness. It's your strength. You just need to learn how to uh, how to love yourself first. If you love yourself first, your boundaries will be intact and you will be fine and you will take care of yourself and your, your relationship will not suffer if you love yourself. Your relationship will benefit. So maybe it's time to stop looking outside for this perfect person to make you happy become this person for yourself because usually soulmates they come into our lives when we learn to love yourself because if you feel miserable and lonely uh, you attract other people who are miserable and lonely you know if you feel happy inside you attract people who are happy inside too so like attracts like so kind of do this because it seems like this is uh since it came through here and it came through very strong especially with this unfinished symphony card symphony card it's um your karmic task your karmic task to learn to love yourself to be able to meet this right person that you feel is coming into your life right so we also have this three of wands four of cups five of cups and i love this coming together because uh for me it speaks about you being focused on your vision on your vision of the future of this project of this bigger picture and you are able to overcome feeling lonely or being upset about something or being unsatisfied at this very moment you are somebody you know the the uh, somebody who knows what postponed um gratification is you're not seeking for instant gratification you you can wait uh, until your projects are flourishing and it's very important it's a very big strength most successful people of the world they have this strength and you have it too so you can really really create something big something important and with this poised card for me this card speaks about reaching for the stars it's about like relax well <laughs> don't overwork yourself relax because you totally can you don't need to push yourself too hard to be able to do this because you can and you will and uh, also with this seven of cups you really really need to count your blessings you really need to look back and see what good there was in your life because sometimes you're forgetting about it and it's it's getting you confused well guys um you're awesome like i'm loving i'm loving all the parts today I love my viewers. You are always awesome. You are so supportive. I love how you communicate with each other. You support each other. You are, you are supporting me regularly. Thank you so much for being so cool. Okay. And I hope to see you soon with my other videos. I'm moving to pile number four now. So last but not least, pile number four with this pink quartz. Let's see. What are your strengths you are not aware of? Hmm. Huh. So we have two of wands, nine of cups, eight of swords, queen of cups, and knight of pentacles. And there is something, something you are not seeing. It's like you're fighting yourself, guys. You may be Gemini, Pisces, or just your chart can be complicated because it seems like you have not just an inner conflict but it's like you have two people inside of your mind 
and one one of you wants to enjoy life to the fullest one of you wants to um like they this part of you is searching for love searching for stars searching for it's like just loving life and the other part of you is uh, is afraid just afraid of uh, yourself not something outside you're afraid of yourself you're afraid of your own desire desire for something but you see this kind of dubious nature it's your strength you can really make them work together you can like i'm a rising gemini sun and moon in pisces like i have Rahu in my first house like if you can imagine the most complete confusing uh person in the world that would be me so i kind of know what i'm speaking about and you can work you can make those parts working together and this is what is going to bring you abundance so it feels like i'm getting this like an advice for you stop being afraid of yourself because uh it's kind of it's you learning to accept yourself is kind of difficult maybe your family didn't accept you or maybe your family tried to give you oh, okay yep guys it seems like someone i know we haven't been we've been asking about something else but sometimes the messages come through that we need to hear maybe not um answering the exact question that we had but uh we have but it's important i feel like somebody abandoned you maybe your mom or your dad somebody important abandoned you when you were a kid your mother figure or father figure and since that time you were afraid to love you have so much love in the world it's like you have all the love in the world and you want to give it but you are super scared like this cat hiding in this uh, dungeon you can't see it it's rather dark here but he's holding himself like this you are afraid to step out you're afraid to love every hint of love is scaring you but your love is not your weakness your ability to love is definitely not your weakness it's your strength only strong people can love seriously so let's see more what what queen of cups hierophant you have a lot of mother energy mother little energy it's in you you're caring you're loving you're giving it, it's your strength it's your strength so maybe okay it's your strength but you are that you don't don't see a strength at all you see it it's like uh, you see you don't see that you can give love you you feel that you need love and you feel like you are begging for love waiting for love waiting for somebody to come love you but what you need to understand is if you want more love in this life start giving more love because you have it you have so much of it and you really uh, have this urge to care for other people to help other people to support other people and it's beautiful you can find a way how to do this it's gonna nourish your soul it's gonna bring you more um, like yeah i want to say nourishment hmm. but you may be not doing it you have the desire to be the second mother teresa but you are not doing it because you feel like you don't have enough money or you don't have enough energy you don't have enough resources you don't have enough something because you are being idealistic about it so forget about idealism idealism is, is not good actually it's stopping you from doing anything there are two things you can do nothing or you can do something so there is no like you can start doing something only if you have the ideal uh, situation for this you will never have it never never ever 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 so start doing something it seems like you have um, you have it in you to um, to help other people 
and sometimes when we are not feeling good ourselves we don't see how we can help others because um, we don't really want other people to see other people who have it uh, worse than we do because we want to pity ourselves it's it's okay it's human nature but you can from your suffering from your you being abandoned we have this five of uh five of pentacles the moon eight of cups again you can create something from it use your experience because through this experience yeah you can now i see it. you can see it as suffering you can see it as loss and it's difficult it's not a joke i'm not trying to diminish what happened to you but i'm saying you can turn it around and with this eight of cups uh, eight of pentacles eight of pentacles by the way eight of pentacles and eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles here you can turn it around and create something meaningful out of it you can learn your lesson and help others learn their lesson you can truly do this and i want to draw three more cards from my favorite oracle deck for you you can be life path number seven or life path number eight you can be actually any life path but you've been through a lot you definitely have been through a lot and uh mm, this situations they've they've taught you a lot they are here to give you experience valuable one and with this going the distance you see the shepherd is running and losing its spots it's like through this turmoil through this pain you've been mm, discovering yourself who, who you truly are your true nature your um it's a difficult spiritual path that you chose but i do believe that we choose our lives before we come here and you chose it so use it to your benefit use it to the most of it because you really really need to learn to be here and now not to be stuck in your past not to be blaming everybody for whatever happened to you take it make it yours make it work for you it's your past it's your experience so make it work because you can because it's given to you for you to build something out of it write a book share your experience help others find a way i don't know maybe create an organization like a support group something like this for others who has been through the same you can help others you can build something you can build yourself out of it and you can help others do the same so it's painful but it's valuable it's not your weakness it's a great strength that has been given to you so take it it's yours to take okay Pile number four. Whew, it was intense. I hope this message finds whoever need to hear it. Thanks for being together with me today. And uh, I hope you're having a great week. See you soon with other, re other readings. Bye, guys.